Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. We begin with some good news. Public health officials announced Austin Travis County is moving to stage three of our COVID-19 risk-based guidelines. The area had been at stage four. Still, we can't let our guard down. It's important for Austinites to continue wearing face coverings, social distance, avoid all gatherings, and stay home when possible. It's got to continue. We cannot bounce right now, particularly before schools start. We, we understand the importance of students being in classrooms. We understand the importance to our economy and to individuals of having our businesses open. And we don't need to threaten that. Stay up to date on the latest information by visiting austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. As the pandemic has unfolded, many of us have found some refuge outside. Here are some quick and easy tips for you and your loved ones to stay heat aware. Limit your time outside. Keep that water handy. Stay hydrated. Avoid alcohol. Wear light clothing and sunscreen. If you have to work outdoors, try to squeeze in those chores early in the morning or late in the day. Heat can be dangerous when you least expect it, but it can also impact us financially. As temperatures rise and with more people staying home, you may be using more energy and more water than usual. City of Austin Utilities wants to make sure you have the information you need to save money. Watching your energy consumption means watching that thermostat. Set it and leave it at 78 degrees. Every degree higher can decrease your bill by 3%. Avoid turning on large appliances like an oven or washing machine during the hottest time of the day. Keep those curtains and blinds drawn on windows hit by direct sunlight, which can quickly raise indoor temperatures 5 to 10 degrees. And finally, use fans to keep cool. When it comes to water conservation, make sure you water only on scheduled days and times. Maintain your irrigation system to make sure you're watering efficiently. Use drip irrigation and add mulch to plants to hold moisture. And check for leaks if your water use seems unusually high. If you need assistance paying your utility bill, there's help available. Just visit austinbillhelp.com. Downtown Austin may still be pretty quiet these days, but there's a new art piece in the area sure to bring a bright spot to your next visit. Funded through the 8th Street Great Streets project, artists Sharon Kishishian and Daniel Hornug collaborated to create a larger-than-life cowboy rider and horse for the city's Art and Public Places program. Named Tracking the End of the Rainbow, the piece is located at the northeast corner of 8th and Colorado Streets in front of the municipal building and features a brightly colored surreal cowboy and his horse that are on the trail of a missing cow and her calf. The reason we did the cowboy is most people don't realize that the Chisholm Trail actually ran through Austin and there were four cattle crossings on the Colorado River where they actually drove cattle across. We started off with drawings and sketches with colored pencils, and then we actually built it out of steel and stained glass, and the hands and face are bronze. And then my daughter and I hand painted it. The artist worked with local art students from the Headwater School to help design the finished piece. What we had them do specifically was look at different types of footprints and how those could be executed from a fabrication standpoint. This design exercise with the students directly informed the concept of the embedded horse, cow, and calf prints that accompany the piece. Don't forget to use the project hashtags when you make it out to see this amazing public artwork. Where are Austin's hottest spots? No need to whip out your thermometer. The city's Office of Sustainability is working to find out. And then is there a number on there somewhere? So today we are working with community members to drive around with sensors. Mark. So what this does is that this is attached to your car. They roll up your window, it locks it in, and then they turn it on. There's a little battery pack in here with the sensor. And we have volunteers who are going to drive around specific routes in East Austin. You are Route 5. And this will measure over the period of one hour, three times a day, the temperatures in those locations. In the Office of Sustainability, we work a lot on climate change. So in order to understand how heat impacts people, we need more data on what heat is like on the ground. This is going to be a great program. We're going to get a lot of information. We'll be able to use this data to inform future decisions. 
by using this information, we can pinpoint investments in East Austin that might need more shade. We can also work with Cap Metro to determine where locations should have bush shelters. Studies show that heat is the number one killer of all extreme events. And it's something that people don't really think about here in Austin. So we wanna make sure that people are safe and that the city wants to make sure that we're actually investing in ways that makes places cooler and makes places safer because the Austin is getting hotter because of climate change. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching, Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our dedicated webpage, austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. Stay well, Austin.